Hello everyone, uh, today I'll be talking about social isolation due to COVID-19. Alright, so to start, we're going to start with the COVID-19. It's a virus, a virus that affected pretty much the entire world. This is a global health issue. And what we do about it is we started like social distancing. We started... Yeah, uh, staying away six feet from each other. That's uh, not a pleasing feeling, being away from everyone since we're social people. Then we went home and we stay home. So we try not to go out of home a lot. And if we got to go out, we got to go out for essential stuff. So this pretty much became a big social isolation and some people went to a happy place, a happy home. Some other people went to a home that is not really like the best situation for them. It could be a little hostile or it could be just uh, the bad feeling of being isolated and not being able to participate with others. Some of us went home and we had plans for leisure, like playing, reading a book, playing some sports, uh, cooking, a lot of cooking maybe, then playing video games. Some other people went home and they had a really hostile environment where there was a lot of aggression. So there is a lot of uh, domestic uh, abuse, uh, women and children. And yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, be uh, confined in a place with uh, someone that is really aggressive so other ones went home and started using drugs alcohol abuse people with uh, mental health conditions they had a lot of anxiety stress and uh, yeah it was just being isolated is not the best thing for them all right on our generations we got a uh, older people that got affected by the uh, virus they're got to be uh, extremely isolated, taking care of themselves. And uh, for their lack of uh, knowledge with technology, it might be hard for them to communicate with themselves with others. We got uh, young people, young people, maybe they're going to school. They are facing consequences to, to COVID-19. They got to adapt the way they go to school. And then we got to woman here and she's a worker works from home got to take care of her kids now she has a lot of things in her hands we got asian people asian people is being stigmatized right now uh, yeah due to the uh, origin of covid 19 or where everything began we got uh, people with mental health conditions this is a really risky moment for them. Yeah, like I say, being isolated is not the best thing for them. Having people with disabilities too. So people with disabilities, some of their services are not uh, currently provided or not provided the same way they used to. So they're facing big uh, difficulties with this. We got workers, workers who uh, due to isolation they're not getting the same income they used to, so they're facing a big uh, economic uh, impact. We got homeless people. Some of their resources they used to get, they're being shut down, and they're not receiving that anymore. So that's another people at risk for isolation. People in jail, inmates, they can't get re uh, they can't get any more family visits. So this is really really bad for them because they're already been isolated so now they don't have a contact with their families and then we got workers of the uh, health uh, department who some of them are being self uh, isolated so uh, they don't spread the virus or if they are getting in touch to touch to the virus to their families and their loved ones and then right here this is where we come we come OT, all right, super OT. We're gonna be positive. We're gonna have uh, the right tools to fix and adjust 
and uh, deal with this social isolation.